Right, welcome back. And our second segment, our second segment is a very important topic. This, uh, it is about the uh, first uh, meeting of the Supreme uh, Investment Council presided by the President after it was reformed to include all the ministries and institutions and concerned body of the economic file. During this first uh, uh, meeting, 22 important decisions, economic decisions were taken. Out of them are some even to uh, 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 amend the stipulation of some laws in order to be uh, able to attract or to further boost the economic uh, file to attract investments, foreign and uh, local investments, and to create a kind of conducive atmosphere for the investments at large uh, uh, in, in, in light of uh, the country's keenness to uh, uh, refresh and activate the uh, economic file with the directives of the president himself. Let's uh, uh, start with our discussion. Let me first welcome our guest, Dr. Mohammed Azam, uh, technology and development expert. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, thank you. Always honor and pleasure being with you. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. The pleasure is all mine. And let me take first your reading to such a council because it was reformed and was presided by the president himself. Uh, this is, I think it's, uh, it's a step that have uh, been a uh, uh, very important uh, signal to the community or the economic community in Egypt uh, outside as well. Uh, now we have a council that uh, is capable to unify efforts, uh, to unify the vision towards the investment climate uh, in Egypt and how to improve and enhance this uh, investment uh, climate because uh, climate is very essential to uh, attract more foreign direct investment because everyone all over the world is trying to attract or have a portion or a decent portion of the global uh, foreign direct investment that is uh, counting for 1.65 trillion US dollars. Uh, this is back in 2021. Uh, actually, this number has been dropped uh, over the last few months due to the uh, current uh, geopolitical tension in East Europe and in and uh, between China and Taiwan as well um, and uh, this is a very important uh, concept that I'm unifying uh, the efforts I'm unifying the vision I have now a clear vision and mission towards attracting more foreign direct investments uh, as well uh, one of the great things uh, I've seen uh, during this uh, meeting that this council is agile enough to revisit the investment frameworks uh, to match any uh, sudden changes, any uh, unforecasted uh, uh, events that could affect the investment climate uh, either uh, locally or uh, uh, internationally. So the ability to revisit everything is very important because now we have an agile mechanism that could cater the changes that we are facing every day in this uh, today's world as well as is not only giving uh, what's called the financial incentives or tax incentives actually it's providing uh, technical support uh, it's empowering uh, small and medium enterprises and the private sector at large uh, it availing uh, land was equipped with the, the needed uh, infrastructure free of charge in Upper Egypt. If you are working in agribusiness domain, if you are working in the industrial sector, if you are uh, making uh, investment for imports uh, replacements. Uh, so this is, uh, I think this is a new mechanism. Uh, uh, also, you are having sort of tax relaxation for the new projects. Uh, the decrease Taxes and customs. Cust the tax and, and customs, yes, mm. exactly. Uh, so you have now a relaxed system, more relaxed system. Uh, and now you're having more of, uh, uh, I would say, um, 
giving discounts on lands and infrastructure for uh, 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 projects outside uh, Upper Egypt as well. And now you have uh, a reputation system. Facilities that were made also for the uh, uh, obtaining of lands and, and, uh, and for having uh, or facilitating the process for uh, uh, the uh, the licenses given, uh, also giving the golden licenses and or expanding the golden licenses and um, so let's here divide into sections. Okay. Uh, first, the uh, laws that are to be uh, amended, uh, amended uh, particularly for the restrictions of uh, issuing licenses for uh, 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 the ownership of lands, uh, 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 the one-stop uh, shop, uh, some of the, um, the important bureaucratic uh, uh, work, usually investors were very much concerned with. Um, 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 let me take it before I go into the incentives because there were uh, also uh, uh, incentives and, 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 and more given in, in, in these uh, in these decisions. Let me take this part of what concerns uh, uh, facilitating the principal issues for any investor to come. Uh, actually, you need to give um, um, uh, a message of confidence in your economy. Uh, second, uh, investors in the past were looking for uh, cheap labors. Now they are looking for uh, competitive labor. Uh, uh, in the past, uh, investors were uh, focusing on mm. having a, a sort of tax relaxation system. However, now you need to give the message of having uh, uh, clear monetary and fiscal uh, regulations and policy. Uh, uh, part of it is technology again, uh, because uh, the ability of uh, uh, having a sort of uh, technology transfer, uh, having a sort of uh, technology creation is becoming an integral part of uh, uh, any uh, economy that is Facilitate catering ca mm -hmm. and cre uh, actually uh, if you look at one of the point six five trillion dollars 60 uh, 650 billion dollars are uh, were invested in technology in technology companies so mm -hmm. uh, technology is becoming one of the great things that is easily to attract the investment and we've seen this here in egypt we have uh, single startup in Egypt uh, working in logistics and financial technology was able to attract almost 340 million dollars over the, the last 12 months. So the technology and investment technology landscape is changing the whole landscape of uh, investment all over the world. Also, one of the great things that I've seen during uh, the, the first meeting of the Supreme Council of Investment is, is you are able to help the, the private sector uh, to embed technology in their uh, production and uh, service uh, provision uh, to help them uh, to uh, boost their competitiveness uh, throughout uh, technology. Uh, part of uh, eradicating the red tape or the bureaucracy is uh, the movement of uh, the digital transformation efforts and the progression of the movement uh, uh, of digital transformation efforts because this would help you to, s to uh, actually to provide the investors with the one-stop shop uh, because you are providing all the, ser the public services uh, electronically so I don't have to go from one place to uh, another so digital uh, uh, transformation is becoming an integral part of attracting uh, 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 foreign direct investment and even domestic uh, uh, investment because actually you, you need to have the proper climate for having uh, a mechanism for easing doing business uh, and of course this will uh, need you to uh, reformat uh, actually many of our uh, revisit many of uh, the laws and regulations uh, you, and the bylaws you need to uh, rethink of uh, how uh, would be the structure of the public uh, services now and in the future uh, you need to re-engineer this kind of services uh, to meet uh, the requirements of uh, the investment community domestically and internationally 
internationally. Uh, you need uh, to uh, embed technology in your production facilities that will give you economy of scale. This will give you uh, superior quality that could compete on the regional and the uh, international levels. So for the first time, we have connected, integrated ecosystem that could be the base of boosting the investment uh, climate in Egypt as well as doing business in Egypt. It's a collective economic uh, 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 decisions or, or integrated decisions. You spoke about the red tap. So let's take the red tap and let's speak about investors and their worries and, and, and how this dealt with the worries. Main issues, usually investors are uh, very much concerned with, are the um, investment climate, promoting uh, competitive neutrality, uh, provide comprehensive incentives, uh, uh, opportunities, and definitely the uh, procedures, the bureaucratic uh, uh, procedures. Plus, of course, the safe uh, inter, uh, entrance and, uh, and exit uh, uh, and, and all this ship and ownership. And uh, How do you view how the meeting or how this council has particularly dealt with issues of concern to, investment, uh, to investors, particularly of what we spoke about? Yeah, actually, uh, uh, one of the things is the dispute mechanism. This is one of the great uh, uh, or one of the most challenging uh, issues that w were, was facing uh, the uh, investors. Now we have an easier mechanism for uh, uh, dispute uh, resolution. Uh, also, by the more uh, uh, the economic uh, courts right? even uh, easier mechanism. Economic, uh, even, uh, even easier yeah. uh, you don't have to go to court you, you can have a sort of arbitration or something that arbitration, uh, yes. uh, this is very dynamic approach and uh, and arbitration was a very uh, expensive tool to deal with the economic uh, issues now by this kind of uh, decisions and degrees that could be easing things uh, to make uh, a decision faster uh, to d to s resolve uh, the dispute uh, faster uh, also there is uh, uh, one of the great things that is uh, all decision by the supreme council of investment uh, is enforced on all entities regardless uh, uh, of uh, the name and nature of the entity so if uh, there was a decision taken by this council this will be implement should be implemented within 15 days no more yes. so this is a because very swift uh, the, the, way the to do some said, things the council said and i guess the directives were 10 days maximum to uh, 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 prepare the amendments that were released and and, and, and them implemented them. yes and start for the implementation uh, during the past period egypt has taken steps in order to be able to come to such a day in which this Supreme Council would meet and, uh, and uh, decide those decisions. We're speaking to you about an inevitable, inevitable reform program that was carried out with an inevitable infrastructure uh, uh, plans that were made in order to be able to come to that point we're speaking about today. How do you view the importance of uh, these reforms from one side the infrastructure which I guess the whole world now are becoming united in starting uh, a revolution a revolutionary uh, infrastructure uh, 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 plans and programs right tell me your reading to that actually if you need to attract investment you need to have a competitive country and to build a competitive country, uh, the first thing is the public policy. That's what we've seen this in, uh, with the formation of uh, the uh, Council of uh, Investment, for example. The second layer is building uh, infrastructure. 
uh, infrastructure uh, does not include only the physical infrastructure like roads, uh, bridges, uh, um, uh, 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 logistics hubs, sea and air ports, but also includes factories. Uh, availing infrastructure uh, for manufacturing, uh, investing in uh, research and development uh, uh, institutions. You mean in complexes? Yes, exactly. Mm. Uh, this is easy to plug and play. Uh, you don't have to rebuild everything from scratch. Uh, in the industrial uh, zone, you will have uh, your uh, facility equipped with all uh, uh, utilities, with the, with the required infrastructure to start the production once you installed your uh, equipment. Uh, so this, this is a different uh, story. Uh, and one of the things is, uh, uh, is to build the clusters for uh, small and medium enterprises as well. Uh, and part of uh, the decision taken by the Supreme Council is enforcing uh, uh, the, the, the economy to or empower uh, the, uh, the, the small and medium uh, uh, enterprises to be a, a great part uh, of the economy and connect them with the larger uh, industries. So you are building uh, the whole matrix, actually. You are building uh, different layers because it's not one layer that will attract uh, investment. You're working with public policy, working with ICT infrastructure because it's becoming is very fundamental. You're working with physical infrastructure uh, that uh, include uh, roads, uh, seaports, uh, logistics hubs, factories, uh, institutions, research institutions, universities to, uh, to graduate uh, skilled labor. It would include uh, employing technology in the production and service uh, uh, provision to to increase your competitiveness. It will include, uh, of course, the trade system because the trade system now is becoming very sophisticated in a connected world. So uh, you, you are building a, a trade system that would cater uh, the production uh, of your uh, facilities uh, locally and would be able to uh, export uh, such uh, uh, products and services to the uh, regional and international mm -hmm. uh, market. You need to uh, help the manufacturers, uh, the, the developers uh, to uh, have world quality uh, product and services because you are competing against everyone. Mm -hmm. So it's an holistic approach actually and one of the beauty of this uh, council is everyone is there. Uh, if there is a problem, we're going to bring it to the table and find a solution to the problem. Uh, and if there is a, a new challenge, uh, I'm agile enough to revisit everything. Uh, if uh, uh, I need different uh, kind of empowerment, I'm there, I can take a decision and then implement and enforce, uh, enforce and implement this decision within days or a few weeks. Uh, I'm giving incentives for the larger enterprises, uh, for uh, the small and medium enterprises. Uh, I'm helping them with the, uh, with the right infrastructure. I'm helping them with the skilled labor. I'm helping them with uh, tax uh, incentives and financial incentive as, with, as well as technical assistance. So we, we, we've been missed this for a long time. Uh, uh, and I, I think by developing or having this kind of uh, uh, Supreme Council of Investment in place and it's headed by the President of uh, Egypt. Uh, so everything will be uh, in place, everything will be in order and uh, if there is a problem, if there is a challenge and of course we are, you can expect any challenges during the implementation, you have the ability and the mechanism uh, to overcome such challenge and come, with, uh, come up with uh, more innovative solutions uh, to uh, help you to be more attractive to both domestic, regional and international uh, investment community. They say in business money means time. What time means business. So we're speaking here about streamlining the business by establishing uh, several issues that will help in lowering costs, simplifying approvals, shortening time uh, frames, and definitely expanding the gold license program. People would really want to understand what is the golden license how does it help uh, how are we working on shortening all the time frames of everything through these uh, uh, latest uh, decisions that we take 
Uh, I think gold glasses was a step towards uh, the ultimate goal of uh, having a whole system for uh, improving and boosting uh, the, the, uh, the attraction mechanism for investment. Mm. Uh, simply, uh, gold license is a license that uh, does not follow the regular bureaucratic uh, path of obtaining a license to start your business or start um, your manufacturing facility or whatever uh, type of business you are doing. Mm. Uh, so I think by by this uh, kind of uh, um, collective uh, collective efforts and by forming uh, the Supreme Council of Investment, uh, I would say uh, and I would believe uh, Gordon Lusses will becoming uh, the standard uh, uh, format and will becoming the standard procedure for starting the business. If you need to start, uh, if I'm, I'm an investor and need to start a business, I can start the business tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I can obtain my license uh, within a week. Uh, and uh, I have universities helping me to uh, improve uh, the, the technical uh, capabilities of my uh, enterprise uh, to provide a better service or produce a better uh, product. Uh, I have uh, physical infrastructure that is helping me uh, to uh, move my goods and services uh, to the exporting uh, sea and air ports. Uh, I have ICT infrastructure is capable to cater my needs. Uh, I have one uh, window for applying uh, uh, um, uh, an, any kind of service, our public service I need to get. Uh, I have uh, a mechanism for resolving uh, disputes. Uh, I having uh, a mechanism for uh, helping me to uh, grow the, my business. I have all the infrastructure that would help me go into any projects I need to. Definitely. And that's another issue which is I need to understand. Opportunities. I mean, here um, um, the president has been calling on the uh, private sector to come and contribute to the economy, and 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 and, and that the whole uh, country is very much open to all kind of investments. Um, um, let me here take um, um, the opportunities, existing opportunities for definitely local and and, and foreign investors to come and contribute in. Uh, actually, one of the great opportunity is the size of the market itself. Uh, yes. Definitely, uh, we We're are enormous market. Uh, actually, we are 100 million markets. And more. Uh, definitely, uh, if you consider uh, the market you are covering, the markets you are covering by uh, the trade agreements signed between Egypt and different countries and different regions, your market is extended to two billion. Uh, population. So Egypt is a huge market by itself and it's really big market by utilization of the trade agreement signed between government of Egypt and different uh, like Comessa for example. Yes. Uh, this is uh, 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 the European Union uh, uh, de definitely and uh, between free trade agreements of Africa and, and, and uh, this is a huge market so but what I uh, uh, what I was speaking about here is our priority finds because for an instant we spoke here about the importance of industry, agriculture, green hydrogen and those or, or, or working in, in, in those as prior file files for uh, uh, our uh, investments. So how do you view the importance of, of those files? What could be sub uh, uh, of, of those important sectors that we're speaking about because also we're speaking here about the importance of boosting exportation so as to be able to uh, increase the foreign reserves help the country with foreign uh, currency and and all this please uh, I, I believe uh, uh, for having uh, a priority I would say you need to work in agribusiness uh, agribusiness is very important yes. and uh, the world is uh, witnessing uh, um, uh, shortage in uh, food so mm -hmm. due, uh, not only because of the latest development in food East Europe uh, the food chain supply of course has been mm -hmm. disrupted uh, to the maximum during uh, the Ukrainian uh, crisis uh, and during uh, COVID as well before the Ukrainian mm -hmm. crisis. 
So uh, agribusiness is very important, and it's very important because you can have knowledge transfer in, in this domain easily. It's not a high-tech uh, domain, so you can uh, upgrade your production facilities. You can upgrade the way you um, produce your uh, products. You can uh, upgrade uh, the way you uh, uh, market uh, your uh, products. And one of the things uh, that uh, the, of the decision has been taken, uh, have been taken during the, the meeting of the Supreme Council is there is a mechanism also for marketing projects and products uh, not only the projects but the, also the products of uh, the, uh, uh, the, the the companies that are producing these products within uh, the, the boundaries or uh, the borders of each so you, you need to not only produce but also you need to innovate uh, uh, and innovation is not only about the high tech by example uh, for sure uh, innovation it comes to the process itself it comes uh, to the marketing techniques it comes to uh, how to uh, make the, your product more appealing, uh, more match uh, ma of a match to the international taste, because you are not only addressing local market here. Uh, so the agri business, uh, the food business is huge, and it will, there is a huge demand all over the world. But however, you need to provide the markets with quality products. Uh, also, uh, among the industrial sector, I think textiles uh, industry is one of. Yes. Uh, uh, a bit. We, we've was, been uh, there. The, the inauguration uh, of the uh, uh, huge uh, or the most huge uh, in the Middle East uh, uh, co uh, mill. Com a complex in, in, yes, in, in yes. Gharbi uh, Governate. Yes. Uh, uh, also, the, you need to uh, have uh, equipped this uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, great infrastructure with uh, the ability to innovate with, with respect to the product, the quality, how you marketing, how you need to uh, always have new business model all the day because mm. uh, innovative business model could change uh, actually uh, the role of the game. Uh, and one of the great things that uh, we've seen huge companies that making huge profits uh, not only because they have a good product but also because they have a, a good uh, uh, agile business model so uh, innovation the business model it should be uh, integral part of uh, the production uh, because you, you techno we've seen a lot of business model uh, and uh, there is a lot of disruption in the business model due to the technology again uh, so uh, the, the food industry the agribusiness uh, the Textile, uh, I would Reni uh, renewable energy, uh, and uh, definitely, the and we, we, and the we, we could, we are doing great job in in the area of renewable energy, uh, uh, and I think one of the, because uh, as the food, uh, everyone needs energy. Uh, and of course, uh, due to the huge projects that are taking place now in Egypt, you yes. would be able to export this kind of uh, uh, services yes. uh, to the uh, neighborhood the countries or and to Europe, and which is uh, uh, quite needed actually. Um, again, because of the disruption uh, uh, that taking place in the energy supply chain. Indeed, indeed. I would want it very much to continue on with our discussion because the economic file is very essential, particularly those days. And, 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 and speaking about that would take um, um, hours and hours. However, my time is out. <laughs> Dr. Mohammed Azim, Technology and Development Expert, thank you so much for being with us and for your uh, input here. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, always honor. Thank you. My pleasure. And I guess that takes us to the end of this episode. Tomorrow will be another important debate with another uh, colleague. Good night.